Good evening. Uh, McKinnon Monday's evening edition. Uh, sorry for the late post, guys. Uh, my people. Um, things happen, but right on schedule as usual. We're going to jump right into chapter three. Um, speaking about Molly and a few things that she went through in that particular chapter which were which was pretty heavy i kind of hit you guys hard with that so let's jump right into it once i helped my brother through i looked up and saw a huge 30 foot wall that went as far down on both ends as the at both ends as the eyes can see i had never seen anything like it i looked to my i looked to my brother and asked him why is this here he replied again sis i have no clue there are a lot of things that we don't know and no one wants to tell us. All I know is there's a ton of information and no one wants to tell us. But there's one thing that I do know. I'm going to figure out what grandpa knows. At this point, Molly has information. She's finding out that grandpa has information. They see this wall and the wall is a huge thing, right? Because it talks and speaks to the segregation that Jim Crow has established in this particular story and it indicates what is happening in that particular time. That that discovery came after a lot of pain. She went through something that was very, very um, devastating. I want you guys to read about it if you haven't already. And we'll talk about that, the trial of pain, right? Sometimes when you uh, go through something in your lowest moments, it allows you to see things and you kind of solve some issues or you kind of approach some things that get you started on your next journey. I've had a few, um, and I'll speak about those in a little bit. The journey is always something that you never know when you end one and start a new one. And in most cases, it's the moments that are the hardest and the ones that are the worst that you've ever been through or ever had to get through. And sometimes it's, it's tough to get around those. You feel like you can't even get through them, and then it puts you on a path of something that's so great and so beautiful or satisfying or positive for me um i think one of the moments that were most devastating for me is the loss of my brother it kind of sent me on a downward spiral i was doing things that was uncharacteristic to myself and it essentially made me grow up i began to have more purpose I, I kind of found myself in positions where, what am I doing? Why am I here? And I came to the conclusion that I need to start doing things that serve my purpose. Um, I had kids, became a father, became more ambitious, went back to school, got my master's, finished my doctorate, teaching kids every day during school hours, which is, which is one thing that I love. So I think being able to go through something devastating or something tough. They'd say always look to that sunrise after that sunset, after all that darkness, when the light comes. And I think it makes sense. You go through something really hard and it kind of opens doors for something else or you discover yourself in a new way or you, it gives you fuel to do something that is satisfying for yourself. Or like me or myself, you find your purpose. Now, I've always wanted to be a teacher or a trainer or a coach, but never got around to it until that happened. It was like, now nah, I can't waste any more time. Uh, losing my brother to cancer in 2010 when he was 21, um, it really sparked some things within me not to waste time anymore. So now I'm always on the go and my parents are always trying to get me to slow down rather than speed up because I feel like there's no time to waste and you always want to make the most out of the time that's given to you. So for me, I think it's important to take advantage of everything that's in your path because you're gonna get through those moments of difficulty. But I, I tend to look at those moments and say, okay, something's coming because, because of what I've been through. Um, so face those difficult moments and say, yeah, something's coming. Let me see and figure out how to get through this because what's coming around the corner, I gotta be ready and prepared for because this is what is this is what 
uh, whatever you guys believe in, God or the universe is preparing me for, and I'm going to be ready for it. I'm going to be ready to take on that challenge. Also, one thing that I've learned as I've gotten older, 38, get, getting up there, and what has helped me as a kid, even being introverted, is calm. When you get in moments where you need to reflect, it's important to listen to what's happening around you. You discover things. Um, you discover who your friends are sometimes. You discover what's most important to you. You discover who really cares as far as family members or people that are close to you. You discover things that you love and enjoy. You're allowed to reflect on things that are important to you. And Molly had that moment, right? She went through something devastating. She was at home. She was with her brothers. She never really paid attention to the backyard as much. Her brother showed her something. It sparked more and more curiosity and more interest for her to explore. And that kind of leads her on this path of exploration through curiosity. And it's important because it turns over new things. And I would just encourage all of you guys to do the same thing, you know, be encouraged to, to never let someone just tell you this is it. Find your curiosity, find ways to find new things and to explore and to turn over each stone and to ask more questions and to do more research and to find the answers that you're looking for because it allows you to fulfill your purpose and it allows you to fulfill more things about yourself that you never thought you could do or never thought you had. Now, again, there were moments that I was able to do things I've never done before. I went to China, went to DC, all through education because I went through that tough time of my brother's passing, became a father and went back and served the purpose that I know I can serve. And it's through education that I have all these opportunities and even speaking with you guys, something that I thought I would never do as well. Writing a book, something I thought I would never do. So all these things started to come from the birth of the worst thing that ever happened to me. Uh, they talk about the rise of the phoenix, right? The phoenix goes through a horrible time of death or um, destruction and resurrects itself and becomes ready and prepared for the next battle or the next challenge. Um, so I think that's really, really important. Uh, and again, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, if you like it, I'm, I'm all about transparency. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Any questions that you have, I'd love to answer them. Hope everyone had a great holiday weekend. The McKinnons, it's, it's something that allows you to explore within yourself as you go on this journey with Molly to find the YouTube channel. I, I, there's been some issues. You want to go to McKinnon Mondays, then Melvin Johnson. It should pop up. And I hope you enjoy um, beginning of the week. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy McKinnon Mondays. And I will see you guys next time.